Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I created or the flavor combinations that I ended up doing to create a s'mores flavor dessert. If you didn't know, it was National um, S'mores Day, so my flash sale this week was Everything S'mores, and this was definitely one of my favorites. This one in the brownie was, I think, my favorite. Um, and I'm so sorry, I know I have been slacking on doing English versions, but when I can and possible, I'm going to be doing English and Spanish versions. So sorry to any of you who don't understand Spanish that have been missing out on my videos. Um, but let's get straight on to it. I'm using my chocolate based recipe, which you can purchase at crumbsandsprinkles.com. It's all full uh, recipes that I personally use for my business. So using that chocolate base i'll be sharing now the alternatives and all the measurements will be listed down below in the description box of little swaps or um changes that i ended up doing to create this um s'mores combination so uh once you have your mixture of your chocolate based cheesecake i ended up splitting maybe a third of it um i didn't measure it out i'm just eyeballing but about a third of my cheesecake mix to that i added some cocoa powder um this is the first time that i'm like doing this flavor so i kind of was just tasting along the way i know poor gut health to me with these raw eggs in there but <laughs> i got to do what i gotta do i'm not gonna bake it and not know what it tastes like um so i soon realized i was gonna need obviously a little bit more sugar to even out the bitterness from adding the cocoa powder if you have purchased my recipe you know that I don't use cocoa powder into my um, chocolate base, but we're doing an exception here only with the third of it uh, to create more like of a double chocolate base. Um, I think it's enough where it's not super overpowering as if I were to have done the whole cheesecake. I definitely think it would have been a lot. So for the base, I did a graham cracker crust. Um, it's the only thing that I ended up switching from regular chocolate base to my graham cracker crust crust for obvious reasons um you want to go ahead and do that and then i go ahead and obviously add it onto my um spring form pan i use a nine inch for any of my uh flash cells in order to get that perfect slice size that's personally the size that I like to use and I can tell you by experience of me doing this not all spring forms are created equally and this is by far my favorite one if you struggle with your base sometimes they're they have like a little dent like going up on uh, some spring forms so you kind of have to like shove it downwards and then inwards to like take out your first slice or like to even like get it out the pan i should say um and this one doesn't the way it's made it's like bent like down so it doesn't have a crease that you have to go through i don't know but it just slides out perfectly you need it in your life um if you struggle with uh taking out your cheesecakes i remember one time it was gonna break um thankfully i was doing it for my friend and i was like girl it's not coming out <laughs> and i gave it to her in the base i know super bad but thankfully it was um to one of my friends but yes i used to struggle a lot with always fearing that it was going to break and this one doesn't i bought it off amazon it's a life saver you need it okay switching on um obviously grease your pans and by this time i'm preheating my oven and i went ahead and added the first layer of um, my cheesecake base which is the double um chocolate one that we ended up creating Go ahead and spread it out and i personally added some chocolate chips in there i should have added more but i don't know i was just like should i should i not um but i ended up adding dark um chocolate chips which they're like slightly bigger than your typical um size ones but more than anything it was a good choice uh due to it was not overpowering definitely milk chocolate would have been a little bit sweeter but the what i love is just the whole combination of different textures because we have the uh, graham cracker base the cheesecake the crunch from the chocolate chips and then we have the ganache the meringue 
the meringue made everything that much better. Like I said, the only thing that I would have switched out next time is adding more chocolate chips than I did here. Um, it was definitely a good, you know, touch to the cheesecake itself. Uh, go ahead and add it smooth here. I realized, oh my god, I kind of dumped it a little too heavy on there. Um, the only thing that can really happen is just for aesthetic reasons, the layer from the bottom kind of like goes upwards. And you don't want that. That way you have like an even um layer of you know both you can see the division between both of the flavors um but that's just a little thing to keep in mind that i definitely forgot yes i do fill my mold all the way to the top it has helped me so much for them not to like uh go inwards or dent down i can't think of the word i'm sorry it's like 1 a.m in the morning and i'm trying to get this video up by tomorrow um because i'm very behind on a lot of videos and with this sale coming up this week i'm just gonna be stacked and stacked upon videos but um i go ahead and bake it you guys know um i mentioned in my recipe the temperatures that i like baking my cheesecakes and it has made a such a major difference where my cheesecakes don't rise that much anymore like i said because then they rise and then they kind of like sink in sink in it was the word that i was trying to look uh for it doesn't sink anymore yes my cheesecakes do crack i don't have a problem with it and i will be sharing tips for them not to crack as um most of my cheesecakes always have to topping so i never care but sometimes uh, when I do do New York cheesecakes, I do want it to be perfect to the touch. And I've definitely learned some tips and tricks to help with that. Um, I'm not going to do it like in a water bath. Um, my regular cheesecakes, I don't think it's necessary when all the toppings are going on top. It doesn't, you know, change the texture for me. It does nothing to me. So I'm not going to go ahead and do that extra step of water bathing but like i said if it was a new york cheesecake yes i would um here to create the meringue it is super super easy a lot of people get intimidated by it but believe me if you have a candy thermometer it should not fail you want to go ahead and whip your um egg whites till mm, soft medium peaks you don't want them super stiff before adding your syrup you want to go ahead and bring your sugar and water to a boil well, not to a boil, to 245 degrees to be exact. And um, once it has reached that temperature, immediately start adding it into your meringue um, or to your egg whites, I should say by now. Um, that would cook, that's enough to cook your egg whites, so don't be scared you're eating like raw um, egg whites or anything like that. Go ahead and add it slowly and in the very like sides of the bowl. You don't want it to hit the whisk and then possibly burning yourself i don't know so many things could definitely go wrong here don't be scared just keep adding them and yes you're gonna see it kind of like deflates or you were thinking it's deflating but let it whip and i don't know maybe about eight to ten minutes they need to whip or until your bowl is um no longer hot anymore because it does get super hot so be careful be cautious once it's completely cool then that's when you know it's ready well that's typically when i know it's ready because typically when my bowl is cool my uh, meringue is done and this is what you should have towards the end go ahead and use it immediately don't put it in the fridge until you have added it into your final product the consistency does end up changing or at least for me um i don't know if that's common for everyone but when I have used meringue, I notice it's way better consistency when using immediately afterwards. I went ahead and prepared my ganache though. Well, it wasn't really like a ganache. I called it more like a paste because it was... I didn't use half and half. Um, I used a little bit less cream uh, or whipping cream compared to the ratio of chocolate chips. But because I wanted it to be a little bit... You know not hard crunchy like a thick shell but definitely more stiff than your typical ganache so i'll leave the measurements down below of what i ended up doing 
go ahead and add your meringue on top and do some little swirls that way you can go ahead and torch the top kind of from a bigger torch so i ended up doing with the smaller one which takes forever um but it did the job believe me it changes the flavor if you torch it um it smells amazing when you're doing so and since i already thought all the combinations were set and ready to go i did not add any more toppings i think it was complete like i said it has the graham cracker base has the two you know flavor of chocolate the double chocolate and the regular um chocolate base plus some chocolate chips plus some meringue to you know give it that marshmallowy touch um was enough i go ahead and cut it so the way i cut it is cutting half and then again in half and then again in half it's the only way that i've gotten for my cakes to be cut perfectly um obviously they're not gonna be exactly maybe a few grams off but they're pretty proportional i would say you can go ahead and buy the cutter i don't think it's worth it especially since something like a meringue it's gonna stick horribly onto that cutter i've had one in the past it just doesn't work for me um so this is my little way of doing it i put it in these containers that are six by six they're clear you can get them off amazon super um affordable and they fit perfectly like just right uh, for my cheesecakes so that's the size that i use i'll be sharing the packaging whole thing in another video where i kind of show like behind the scenes or just like everything like getting everything done in one day basically i'll be doing those type of videos since i feel like they're very motivational at least they were when i first wanted to start my business just seeing people with a lot of orders or just in general working um packaging was something that motivated me a lot so i definitely want to do more of those on my channel and that is it i hope this gives you an idea of another flavor combination you can do using my recipe or you can use yours or whatever but it's definitely it was a hit that's all i can say it was amazing i'll see you guys next time if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time follow me on my instagram so you guys don't miss out you'll see it way before then you'll see it here on youtube um but yeah okay bye